Okay, there's an elephant in the room we need to talk about in regards to music production. And frankly, this elephant is getting so big that I can no longer access my fridge, so it's time. This is gonna be a really tough pill to swallow, guys. Are you ready for it? Music production plugins are done. They're finished. It's over with. No more. Uh, now there's a little bit of hyperbole in this statement, not just for the title, but also because there's not really much of a better way to put it. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, there is not a lot of room left for improvement when it comes to plugins and general devices for music production. I kind of felt this in 2023 and maybe a little before that, but in 2024, it's gotten so obvious. Now let's look back. We had a few interesting plugins back in 2023, such as SinPlant 2. That was probably the most groundbreaking one. And even that, in my opinion, was a little bit overrated. Now, when I say overrated, not saying it's bad. I'm just saying the hype didn't match up to what I perceive to be the actual value of it. For those of you that don't know, Simplant 2 is a unique synthesizer that allows you to copy other sounds and it'll automatically make sounds out of that sound. Trying to mimic it, but quite often making something a bit different and it gives you a variety of other options too. It definitely had cool technology. It could be nice at times, but it wasn't completely replacing sound design and it was only able to copy certain types of synthesis, generally only simple sounds. Now you may have noticed a lack of new plugins on the market lately, or if you do, none of them seem to be that new or different. And when there are new plugins, they're already something that we already have. How many more granular samplers do we need? How many more analog model compressors or EQ do we need? There's hundreds. There's, I, I'm not gonna count, but I can assure you there are hundreds. Now, am I saying there are not gonna be any more new plugins? No, of course not. My show, WNN, we're gonna be featuring them whenever there are new ones. Sometimes to laugh at them, sometimes to be excited about them. But I think the actual good new plugin releases are gonna be a lot more scattered because at this point, it's just lots of overlap. It's lots of things that already exist, but made by a different company. In order for these companies to make better new plugins, they're gonna have to make use of better technologies, new technologies, maybe AI, more creative thought put into the actual idea of the plugin. Now, Simplant 2 was a decent example of this. While I thought it was personally a bit overrated, they did actually do something creative and different. There is no one else doing what Simplant 2 does. What we need in the plugin market currently is more things like Simplant 2. Not exactly like Simplant 2, but the idea behind it. Actually making something different, something unique, something that no one else can copy, something that doesn't already exist. I do think the idea and effort behind Simplant 2 should be applauded. And that's really the energy we need going forward when it comes to music production plugins. Usually I look forward to doing my best plugins of the year list. Uh, I looked forward to it in 2023. I believe I did one in 2022. Uh, this year, there's basically nothing. I can't, I can't even think of like a new plugin I was excited about this year. We got nothing. Now I don't have data to back this, but I would venture a guess that these plugin companies are probably not doing super great financially. At the very least, I would take a guess that it's on a downward trend. Now I don't work for any of these companies, so I don't know, but just based off what's being released, the fact that releases seem to be more and more scattered and the fact that a lot of companies are adding subscription models or are trying to go to subscription only, which I mean, Almost all of us hate subscription models, especially when it comes to something that you should be able to own, like a plugin. I actually got this in a comment recently, but according to some commenter of mine, they are actually teaching people in business schools to try to do subscription models over actually paying for something. And that's just because you can make people pay infinitely for something that they could own otherwise. And it really makes sense when you think about the fact that they're running out of ideas in the plugin business. If they're running out of ideas in the plugin business, how are they gonna release new plugins and get people to buy them? How are they gonna stay in business? Subscription models, of course, that's the only way at this point. If they can't release new products that people will buy, they gotta figure out a way to monetize the old ones infinitely. Now, I think what a lot of these companies will be doing going forward is trying to make a similar product to their competitors and trying to make it better in some way, whether it's cheaper, there's some slightly different functionality, maybe a better user interface. And this would be the path of least resistance for these companies. And it's gonna to be tough when there are individual users out there making free or really cheap plugins that are sometimes even better than their plugins. Analog obsession is one that comes to mind. One thing we definitely need less of is influencers and YouTubers flooding the market at this point. If you're a producer, YouTube producer, whatever, and you're thinking about making a plugin or sample pack, ask yourself this. 
Is this somehow gonna benefit people or is it really just to fatten my own wallet? Am I just making this to fatten my own wallet and pretending as if I'm trying to give people something new or something different? Let's be honest though. These YouTube producers, they are making these plugins for money. Do you really think Kyle Beats sat down when he designed Drip and was like, oh man, this is gonna change the music production game forever? No, he was just trying to find a way to monetize the idea of making a plugin. And he did so by changing out normal mixing concepts with words such as heat and then advertising it to a large amount of people on YouTube. And you have yourself a successful plugin and marketing campaign. Okay guys, this has been my dissertation on why the plugin market is completely doomed and um, yeah, everything is, it's over. It's over, this channel's over. I'm just kidding. Uh, if I'm right about this though, let me know down in the comments. You know, maybe I'm wrong. They'll release Ozone 12 tomorrow. It'll have some insane new technology. Maybe tons of amazing things are on the horizon and it's not Unison Audio. Maybe Kyle Beats will release Drip 2 tomorrow and it'll have groundbreaking new technology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, anyways, let me know your thoughts on the subject in the comments. This is something that's been running through my mind lately and I wanted to actually do a video about it. For once, we're doing a video that's not dubbing in. I know it's been a while since I actually did a unique video concept. And I pretty much just don't want to force it like until I have a good idea. And I thought this was a good idea for a video. But if I'm right about what is going on with plugin companies and plugin designs, it's probably a good idea to support the companies that you actually do like. This is not, they did not pay me to say this. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the money. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. They did not pay me to say this. Um, but make sure you buy the plugins and software that you actually use because you never know when those companies may go out of business. Press the like button if you want to make plugins great again. Subscribe if you're new here. If you want to support the channel and what I do here, consider checking out my second channel or Discord. They'll be linked in the description. Or joining my Patreon or becoming a channel member. For as low as $5 a month, you get access to exclusive content, outtakes, and other goodies. I'll see you guys next time.